Let's talk about another way to decompose a fraction, and we're going to do it as a multiple of a unit fraction. So before students get into multiplying a whole number by a fraction, they can think of a fraction as the product of an expression with a whole number in a fraction. So here we have three halves, which would be the same as three groups of one half. In another example, we have the fraction six tenths. If this was the product, what would be the expression that equals this product? Well, six tenths is the same as six groups of one tenth. So we can connect it to adding unit fractions to make up a fraction or decomposing a fraction into a sum of unit fractions. Instead of doing that repeated addition, we're going to rewrite it as a multiplication expression. So 8 fifths would be the same as 1 fifth add, added 8 times, or it could be th thought of as 8 groups of 1 fifth. So for this fraction, 12 fifths, what would be the expression? Yes, 12 groups of 1 fifth. So this is just another way to have stu help students become more flexible with their numbers. Fractions are a type of number as well. Understanding like this example, 9 fourths, it's not just a static number, but you have 9 fourths, which could be 1 fourth added 9 times or 9 times 1 fourth. Here's a few more examples to try out before you work on this skill with your children or students.